with just two hours to get air fed. If I can make it in an hour or so, hold you close against my skin. Need a little warmth in the night, so singing song you sing. What about living in a long black bed? Alright, guys, we're at the library, so I want to be quiet, but these are actually a few of the original designs for the Frisbee Club logo when I was first like conceptualizing the logo maybe six seven months ago the first actual design was this same font same little frisbee here my old brand left home i wanted to kind of incorporate both of them so it was originally left home frisbee team but clearly teamed it just didn't roll off the tongue a couple more designs i've been thinking of the hats since day one it's my staple had to happen been a, they've been in the works more frisbee team hats hats now this one was the og frisbee club logo with a different font i actually really like this one so this one could make an appearance in the future the actual font that i went with here ended up being basically one of the first fonts that i thought up and wanted to use it's actually inspired by uh i'll show you that's where the inspiration originally got pulled from and I really liked kind of you guys may have picked up but I'm big on like vintage type stuff a lot of the shorts I wear the Nike Adidas ones are all like vintage ones that I thrift same with a lot of the shirts or like kind of that style this is the original whole one at South Park this golf course today the frisbee club trucker hat an embroidered t-shirt are officially live and I figured what better spot to announce this than on the exact ground where I threw my first ever disc golf disc. Disc golf is one of those things that has been a constant in my life for pretty much all of it. I've been playing for over half of my life and it's one of those things that's always just brought me happiness. As much as sometimes I hate this game, I always find find myself coming back and, and ever since you know kind of building up this frisbee club and having all you guys, it's just, it's it's gotten even more fun. And I, I think that's crazy that like 14 years into playing this game, it's just now finally, I feel like really starting to get even better, I guess. So guys, if you're interested in either one of these pieces, the link will be the first one down in the description. Go check it out. Oh shit. Guys, I appreciate your support on everything I've been doing recently, like so much. You you guys, I've said it in the, you know, some of the recent videos, but you guys are the reason that I can push towards living the life I want to live because with this YouTube creator stuff, like we basically rely on you guys. You are like the lifeline to the life that we want to live to create this content and like this, this apparel and the merch and the disc drops. That's how we make the money. YouTube, <laughs> they, ain't, they ain't paying too much, guys. But uh, I just figured I'd sit down, talk a little bit more about this stuff real quick. So the distribution is one thing I wanna be like completely transparent with. The distribution is not gonna be through like me personally. I will not actually like touch the product when it goes to you guys, but the company that is doing my distribution is disc golfer family owned. So I like that aspect of it because I feel like it's, it's people that I can trust. You know, there it's a company that I feel like I can trust to know that like things aren't going to go wrong. I obviously have both products in hand and I approve of the products. So the black t-shirt here is a comfort color. If you're not familiar with like a comfort color t-shirt, Basically, if you go to like a concert or or you go get like a college t-shirt or, or like any of those like nicer quality, like slightly heavyweight cotton t-shirts you see that are very popular right now. They're like kind of that heavyweight oversized style t-shirt. That's usually what the comfort colors, that's usually what they are. So for me personally, this is a, this is a t-shirt that I'm going to wear on and off the course, but off the course, I like to have more of an oversized fit to my t-shirts. The hat, obviously a nice, just trucker hat, black with the white front, embroidered logo, once again, purple Frisbee club. Uh, this hat is nice because it fits my big ass head. And if a hat fits me, it'll probably fit you, I would hope. I'm wearing it on only like one snap, uh, off of fully closed, which is not very common for me with a big ass head. So this is a beauty. When you guys do get this hat in the mail, it will come as a flat bill. The reason I did that is because 
Some people like flat bill hats, some people like curved brims. Flat bill hats tend to run a little bit larger, so I went with the flat bill option because then I can curve it to the curve that I want, and I figured you guys could do that too. So I think the quality of these, super nice. I love comfort color t-shirts. They're very soft. You can get one for your DGB. She could probably wear it to bed. It would be super comfortable. I'm super excited about this drop because I feel like these are like the staple Frisbee Club pieces, like the trucker hat that a lot of you guys have been saying you wanted for a long time. And then I think this t-shirt is just like a timeless classic. The comfort colors, they beat in really well. So like a year from now, it's gonna be like that nice kind of like beat in black comfortable t-shirt that just fits good i cannot thank you guys enough if you decide to purchase a shirt a hat both if you can't afford it guys i understand it i'm broke too and not everything not everything is a necessity a lot of things like this are a luxury and not everyone has the financial needs to buy things they don't necessarily need and i get that So those may have only been like 17 footers, but the fact that I can like hit five straight putts left-handed, I literally just like don't do that right-handed and it makes zero sense. Van tour update. So we got the stove set in there, the sink, the little cabinet built, the bed is in, bench. This is what she's looking like. Got the seat swivel, absolute money. So basically this water system down here, the propane system is what we've been working on for about the last week now. In the next day or so, that should be set in place, which is a massive part of the build out here to actually like live comfortably, be able to shower, cook food. And then we got to tackle the electrical grid. We got the solar panels installed the other day. So basically as soon as the electrical grid is completed, the van's pretty much done. Then we throw in the walls, stain everything, seal everything, and she's ready to hit the road. Right now we're staying near my hometown, about an hour 20 west of the Twin Cities. After this gets completed, hopefully in the next week or two, we're gonna be heading to Northern Minnesota, visit some family, maybe spend a little bit up there. There's a few courses up there that I might wanna try out. And then we're headed towards Montana. Montana is gonna be the first real stop on this, this van life journey. Just worked on the van for like seven hours. We've been doing that pretty much every day for about the last week and a half or so to really try and kind of wrap up this van build. But I'm heading to my buddy Johnny's. He's a musician. We got a little surprise for you. It's, it's, it's unfortunate, but it's also like a cool situation, I think. I'll explain more when I get there. Secret upstairs. What'd you say? Don't touch the doll in the corner. What is this shit? <laughs> I used to, she used to sit there up until recently. I recorded a video there the other day. <laughs> Check this out. Hi right, guys, so we're at my buddy Johnny's house. Jersey Giant. It's the song I use for my outros every time. I got a copyright on one of my recent videos and to try and avoid that, we're gonna have Johnny record a new version for me. And uh, it should be dope. Hard and soft, Jersey Giant, go 
<laughs> did you like it better when I did it? Like the Chuck? Remember, I kind of, the last version I did, I kind of, I, I started here. I went, remember all of summer. Instead of like letting it ring out, I thought it sounded pretty good, but. When's that album coming? Soon. Soon. <laughs> You've been saying that for years. Hey, you can't rush it. Not gonna lie, dude, I ate an edible kind of like right before you came over. <laughs> you guys just... So I've been, uh, the last hour I've been, uh, struggling a little bit. <laughs> but then I gave you two chances. I love to see you win. <laughs> See, you sing slightly different lyrics than I sing. Get up, all those words are tied Need a little warmth on a night so cold. Sing a song we used to sing. What about a lady in a long black veil? Should have seen a morning sun. Lord, I love to hear you well. High and lonesome, hard and strong. Even if it was a little out of tune, hotter than the socks. Lord, I love to hear you. With. Oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> I don't right. know the rest. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm gonna start singing songs when you meet Frolfin out there and I just know, like a, your cattle songs. I wish I knew how to play guitar so bad. I thought you knew how to play. I've like slightly known how to play it multiple times and then I forget everything. <laughs> Like the ocean under the moon, and it's the same as the emotion that I get from you. You got the kind of love, and that can be so smooth. Yeah, now give me your heart, and may you read it. Oh, let's forget about it. I'll tell you one thing that if you leave, it'd be a crying shame. Every breath and every word, I hear your name calling me out. I'm from a barrio. You heard my rhythm on the radio. And feel the turning of the world, so something slow turning you. And if you say this life ain't good enough. I'll give my world to lift you up. I'll change my life to better suit your mood. Because you're so smooth, and it's just like the ocean, it's under the moon, and it's the same as the emotion that I get from you. You got the kind of love, and I can be so smooth. Yeah, now give me your heart and make it real. Forget about it. That's a banger. Uh, what is what song is that? I don't know what it is. You don't know no. that song. <laughs> Maybe I do Stop like if I heard it like this <laughs> ASAP. There's three keys of disc golf. Driving, approaching, and putting. We need all three to do this disc sport.